Hey, Sparkers. So today we are going to talk about uh, backing up tones. So it's been, first of all, I should apologize. It's been a while since I've done a video. Lots going on uh, personally um, and professionally. My, my office slash music room is a bit of a mess right now, but uh, I'm going to make do and I'm going to show you guys something that I've kind of talked about a little bit in the past, but I've never done a, a specific video on this before. So this is going to be backing up tones. Uh, and the reason you're going to want to back up tones primarily is because you're going to want to access them on multiple devices, right? So let's say you've created a tone that you, you know, really like, and you have multiple devices. Um, you have, you know, let's say you have an iPhone and you have an iPad and you have an Android, right? Let's say you have all those just for fun. Um, but at least you have more than one device and you want to use that same tone on multiple devices and you don't want to recreate it. So the way you would do that is you're going to save that tone. Sorry, you're going to save that tone to the tone cloud um, and then you're going to favorite it. That's the easiest way to do it. And then if, as long as you're logged in on that on that other device with the same account, you'll be able to access that. So the, the quick way to do that is just to do uh, share it to tone cloud right here. So I'm going to, this is a tone I made a little while ago and I'm just going to um, just add a, a couple of tags here, no big deal. Uh, let's just, uh, actually, let's make this, this is not gonna be a real one anyways, so I'm not too worried about this. Um, so, but let's say I've, I've, I'm happy with those tags right there and I'm gonna share this. And now this is gonna be on the tone cloud. And I'll, um, let's, now I'm gonna pretend I'm logging on my other device and I'm gonna search for that same tone, so I called it my new tone, one. There it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tap this little favorite here and it will now be on my favorites list. So, you, so the way you're gonna find this is you're gonna go back to the tone cloud on your other device. So let's just say I'm now on my Android device or whatever, you're gonna go to tone cloud and you're just gonna tap on favorite. And so there it is right there, my, my new tone one, and you could download that guy right here and save it, right? So that the, the other thing you're gonna wanna do when you're backing up tones, and the main reason you're gonna wanna do this is, let's say you've wiped out for whatever reason your uh, hardware presets. Um, yeah, I always, I save my hardware presets just in case I ever wanna use them again, but people have actually done, look for one dash clean, and we will see that pop right up. Oops, let's do this. Let's do one dash clean. And this is a good way to just replace, you know, the 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 channel one original tone that you lost. Um, so people have uploaded all of those. So it's just a good idea to save your tones uh, as you when you make them uh, to Tone Cloud. Um, if you don't, you know, something crashes on your device, you might lose it. Or of course, again, if you want to access it on another device, that's the way to do it. So that's it. This is a quick one today. I just wanted to give this tip on how to save uh, tones, back them up, and access them on other devices, uh, or access them later if you, you know, re-download the application. So hope this helps. Thanks. We'll see you next time.